What's up guys, head coach Darren here with your breakthrough body dynamic stretching routine. You guys wanna do this before almost every workout, any activity that requires a lot of movement. I froze the frame a bit just so I can get the intro in. Don't mind the kids in the background and we'll get started. And so I'm starting with a cat cow pose. I do about five of these, right? You wanna emphasize the breathing. Okay, so you're relaxing the muscle into a new range of motion each time. And after every rep, you want to kind of go 1% further, I like to say. And I kind of tilt my head at the top just to get more stretch, especially in the abdomen area. I'm then going to go into child's pose, all right? And then I do this little variation where I get up on my fingertips to get an extra kind of mobility stretch in my shoulders and traps. So breathing in, breathing out each time. Do about five or ten reps of those okay then i'm going to go into some shoulder rotations okay so only go to as much as you can um, don't force any type of movement especially if it's your first time i like to do this especially for upper body workouts and again don't worry about flexibility at this point right uh, you just want to stretch it until you feel a little bit of uh not discomfort but obviously something that's working over there I'm then going to go into a prone cobra, so I'm inhaling on the way down and I'm giving a nice exhale coming up, again I'm tilting my head back just to get an extra stretch, right, do about 5 to 10 reps of these, focusing a lot on the breath and then see that last shoulder rotation just to get some more uh, mobility in my shoulders. I'm then going to move into a uh, rocking calf and hamstring stretch all right um, so I'm gonna hold this pose for a bit just get my shoulders stretched and my hamstrings as well this is a great one for any compound movement that you're getting ready for and so I'm rocking back and forth stretching out those calves and feeling it a little bit of my hamstrings as well so again Breathe in, breathe out, try to go 1% deeper after each rep. And I'm then gonna move into your forward lunge to instep, okay? So you're gonna see I'm trying to keep my back straight and I'm going to, each rep, I'm gonna try to have my knee on the floor. And when I come up, I'm stretching the hamstring. It's a good way to, a great way to open up the hips. After about five reps, I'm going into a instep, all right? So my leg is in between my hands, and then I'm coming up on the back of my back leg, and I'm gonna try to extend that front leg almost straight or as much as you can. As you can see, I can't go all the way, but just enough to get a nice stretch in that hamstring. I'm gonna go to the other side for another about five reps of each movement. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Yeah, so the hips are incredibly important, especially because in your workouts, we're including uh, two compound exercises that incorporate the full body and hip, hip flexibility, hip mobility is such an important way to kind of prime your body for big movements. All right, so about five of these reps. And then I'm going to, I kind of do this, I followed a YouTube video called the five Tibetan um, movements, something like that. And so it's like just a great way to get an extension in your abdomen and your lower back and your upper back. So you're breathing in and you're crunching your abdomen together. And then a nice big exhale at the top. It goes far as you can without any pain or discomfort. This is a great one to kind of just extend that back, get that lower back primed for movement. Um, most of the of, of these muscles that we're working out and warming up are usually dormant, especially if you're sitting for a long time at the office or whatever. So we need to fire up these glutes, the lower back, uh, the core especially. So now I'm going into the Asian squat, which is one of my favorite squats, right? And then you can see I'm kind of rotating on each of my my feet and my feet is fully flat on the ground this is a great way to open the hip open up the hips again 
And what I'm doing here, I'm putting pressure outside towards the outside and my knees are putting pressure inside, right? To get that nice stretch in the groin and the inner hips. And I'm reaching high to get my a, a nice stretch in the back muscles. It's one of my favorite ones as well. And you should be able to hold an Asian squat comfortably for about five minutes. If you can't, try to work progressively towards it because it can do wonders for the hips. And here I'm doing a nice single arm extension, reaching as high as I can while focusing on breathing. Probably do about five reps of those each. Focusing on the breath again. Great way to stretch out the lats as well. And it looks like I'm moving towards my usual rollout. Okay, so I like rolling out the back. Whenever you round the back and then you come up sprawling, uh, extending the hips like that. Again, another hit, nice hip opener. Uh, almost fell there. So I'm rolling. You want to try to round the back as much as possible without any discomfort. This kind of works your spine. Yes, yeah, so it's opening up the hips again. This one takes a little bit of practice because you need to kind of um, get your your knee and your and your foot in the right place as you come up as you're alternating knees. So you're gonna roll again. Try to get more rounding in the back, just like a you know rocking chair here. Yeah, don't mind those kids. I think they're just playing with uh, styrofoam swords or something like that. So I coach, I'm a private basketball trainer as well, and this is the facility I use. And yeah, so this is just a nice little hamstring, lower back, glute stretch. So I'm bouncing, you can bounce if you want, but not too kind of dramatically, just a nice little, nice little pulses, right? And try to go 1% deeper after each breath. It's actually a great stretch for your lower back for a lot of people that sit down a lot. Um, a lot of people that feel a lot of back pain get a lot of a lot of tightness in their transverse abdominis, which which goes up down the lower back of your of your spine. I'm just gonna do a few reps of those. Love doing these before things like deadlifts or squats. And this should actually be the last dynamic stretch. Um, I'm gonna go into our muscle activation exercises right after this, so stay tuned.